Welcome to Live Lean TV. I'm Brad Guthrie from LiveLeanTV.com. So guys, on today's episode, I'm sharing a couple healthy slow cooker recipes that are so easy and tasty. And if you're wondering if what this boo-boo is here on my head, you have to go watch my Instagram. It happened at the gym. But first, let me reveal a very helpful meal prep hack that will help you spend less time cooking while having more healthy food to eat. One of my favorite kitchen appliances that makes meal prep so easy and tasty and of course healthy is the slow cooker guys, also known as the crock pot. So it's no secret that if you're looking to start your live lean journey, you need to make changes to your lifestyle, especially your approach to nutrition. You can't expect to continue eating the same foods in the same quantities that you always have if you're expecting different results. That's essentially the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. So during my Live Lean journey, one of the biggest things that helped me was starting to plan my meals out and preparing them in advance. Now, meal prep is one of the most effective ways to lose body fat and build lean muscle. And it may seem like a big task, but once you get used to it, it just becomes a part of your every week routine. And I get it. If you think you're too busy to be constantly cooking in the kitchen, I don't blame you. We all are. And I'm not saying that you have to live your life in the kitchen. The solution to this is cooking in bulk and meal prepping on the weekends. And one simple way to use this is the slow cooker. It's one of the easiest ways to meal prep and cook in bulk. All you have to do is just throw all the raw ingredients into the slow cooker in the morning, turn it on and go about your day and bon appetit. So depending on what foods you add to it, it should be ready in like six to eight hours. And believe me, the aromas and the added flavor from slow cooking your food is freaking amazing. Also, most slow cooker recipes are lower calorie as no added oils or butters or sauces are required to keep the food moist since the juices from the meat help. Although sometimes I like to add sauces, it's not necessary. And to really take advantage of the slow cooker, make sure you add a lot of ingredients so you can cook in bulk, then store the leftovers in the fridge or the freezer so you can take them to work or eat as a quick snack on the go. So guys, with all that said, here are two of my favorite healthy slow cooker recipes that are so easy and tasty. This recipe is our slow cooker tri-tip. Oh my gosh, we love this. So we buy this tri-tip from Costco that is already seasoned. It already has like spices and things already on it. So all we do is just take that slab of meat and throw it into the crock pot. You add a little bit of water and then you cover it with as many vegetables as you like. You put the lid on, you set the timer and you forget it. We cook it for about seven hours. So we put it in in the morning and then it's hot and delicious and ready for dinner. We always pair this alongside some salad or some other vegetable side. I think the best feature about using your slow cooker is that you like literally don't even have to touch it. There's no chance it's gonna burn and it turns off when it's done so it's not gonna overcook either. The meat just kind of falls apart and it makes the whole house smell good. I mean, it's just awesome. I'm showing you how to make a pork slow cooker meal. It is absolutely delicious and so quick to prepare. Here's all you need to do. Take your slow cooker and we're gonna add in about three pounds worth of pork loin add these guys in there. Then we're gonna add in a healthy tomato sauce. And if you look at the tomato sauce, it's all natural ingredients using olive oil as well. It's none of that soybean oil. So make sure if you're using tomato sauce, it doesn't contain soybean oil. Then we're gonna add our veggies, sliced up zucchini, and then a whole bunch of cauliflower. But you can pretty much use any vegetable that you want. And to top it off, the last ingredient that we have is our spice. We're gonna put two tablespoons of basil. That's gonna give us an incredible flavor. Let's stir this up. Make sure that tomato sauce is coating everything. And that is it. All you need to do now is cook it. So here's how it looks inside. So all we have to do, add this to our slow cooker. Put the top on. Set. We're done. With the magic of Phil, we are back about six hours and 20 minutes later. We're ready to eat. Let's check out what our slow cooker has in store. The best part of the slow cooker is those aromas that come off of it. When you come home from the office, your house smells like the food you're going to eat, and it's absolutely delicious. Let me show you what we have here. Yeah, buddy. 
Check this out. Slow cooker pork loin. You know, it takes a while, but if you cook it in the morning and you come back home, it's ready for you when you get home. Delicious. Slow cook, so it's all moist. Aromas are incredible. I'm digging it. And there's only one thing left to do. Let's give this a taste. Break me off a little bit of that pork, and it just breaks apart like nothing. Get some zucchini, some cauliflower in there. Let's give it a taste. Damn, that's good! So there you go, Lily Nation. No more excuses about not having time to cook. Go get yourself a slow cooker and put it to work for you. So guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button down below and subscribe with notifications turned on so you never miss a post. Thank you guys so much for watching. Living lean.